Oh, here is the updated instructions for Chamberlain Pet Care. Um, so all of the cat food is stacked over here. And um, Henry is a eating and pooping machine. So um, he will eat uh, at least a can of food every time you come to visit, a full can of food just for Henry. Uh, and if he wants more than that, then you can give it to him. Um, whenever you give Henry food, uh, it's very important to mix in this psyllium husk powder into his food. Uh, and there's a little measuring spoon here, which uh, we'll just leave inside the bag. Uh, and just put a scoop of that psyllium husk into his food and mix it in, and that makes his poop uh, less terrible. Uh, and he just kind of poops wherever on the floor, uh, which is not very pleasant. I'm sorry. Um, there are uh, cleanup supplies here. Um, we have these little um, plastic uh, bags for um, putting the, the paper towels and poop and stuff in. Uh, and you can throw that in the trash uh, or in the, there's a trash bin outside for uh, that stuff too. Um, so we're keeping all the uh, doors upstairs closed. So this room doors closed, the bedroom doors closed, uh, just to have as few places as possible that Henry can sneak into and um, poop. So usually uh, he kind of poops somewhere around this table or something just on the floor here. Um, uh, okay, in the in the little bathroom over here, uh, there's a litter box, and um, we have been keeping these uh, puppy pads right next to the litter box, and Henry will sometimes um, poop on those, or he will pee on those. Uh, so uh, if when you come, that pad is um, soiled, then uh, you can clean it up and also put that in the trash. And then there's a bunch more. There's a whole box of these puppy pads right there under the sink. Uh, okay, Jenny has decided to just um, isolate herself in the master bedroom. Uh, and we just keep that door closed. So she lives in here now. Um, hello, Jenny. And um, so uh, when you feed the cats, don't forget uh, you need to feed Jenny separately. Uh, and so she's got um, uh, her food and water uh, dishes over here and she's got her own litter box. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention when you feed Henry, um, make sure to check his water. He drinks a lot of water. Uh, so we wanna keep his water filled up. Uh, okay, I think that's it for the cat. And then uh, the rest, I think you know, but just real quickly, coming downstairs. Uh, bedroom doors are kept closed just to keep the cats out. Um, don't forget to feed the fish here in the downstairs bathroom. Uh, and then the uh, chicken food um, is here in the bathroom and this that's more bedding in this bag, but uh, you probably won't need to do anything with the bedding. Um, so for the chickens, um, I usually let them out around like 7 or 7.30 in the morning. Uh, but if you can't come until later in the morning, that's okay. They'll be a little bit annoyed, but they'll, they'll survive. Uh, just let them out um, when you get here. And then um, try to put the chickens in around dusk. So... Uh, maybe around like 4.30, 5 o'clock, 5.30, something like that. Um, they'll be okay if you can't make until a little bit later, but um, uh, we don't want it to go too late at night just in case some raccoons or something come in while the, before they're locked up inside the coop again. Um, and then lastly, the, uh, the gate, the door into the chicken run there um, has gotten a little bit deformed in it kind of sticks, so um, when you go to latch it, uh, you may just have to push hard on the bottom of the door in order to get it to latch again. Um, I think that's everything.
Thank you. Thank you so much.